Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to download and install as well as compile with the Denex Excel compiler. First you must go to denex.com. The link is available in the description. And on this website there are all the information and resources you need to become acquainted with our products. You need, in order to download the Denex Excel compiler you must go to download and download the Excel compiler. This may take a few seconds. Once that is complete, launch the installation file. In order to launch the installation file, double click on it and run it. Proceed through the installation while becoming familiar with the license agreement. Once that you are sure you agree to it, accept the terms and proceed. Navigate to the destination folder where you wish to install the Dynex Excel compiler and install. Once this is complete, you may finish the installation. In order to make the next Excel compiler fully functional, you must launch Microsoft Excel then navigate to File Options go to Trust Center Trust Center settings and then macro settings and make sure the trust access to VBA project model is ticked on. This is because the Excel compiler requires access to VBA project to be fully functional. Click OK when you are sure you have completed that. In order to compile with the next Excel compiler, you must go to your uh, Excel worksheet. I'll be using the sample worksheet provided and you should select it and copy it into the My Documents folder and paste it there. Once you have done that, you may execute it by double clicking on it, then go to DoneX and compile. Proceed. Since I'm using the trial version, I um, have to sit. I have to sit through this window. If you have ordered an Excel compiler, you will not have this. You may close to continue. Once again, since I'm using the trial version, some options are grayed out. On ordered versions, this is not a problem. Here is the target path. This is where your application will be located once your compilation is complete. In this field, you can paste your copyright. In this field, you may navigate to your splash, Im splash image, and in this field, you may navigate to your icon if you have those. Once you're done with all that, click Compile. Once the compilation is successful, you will have this window. Click OK to proceed. Now navigate to where your target path was set to. By default, it is the same location as your original workbook and launch it. Since I'm using a trial version, this window will appear. On ordered versions, this will not happen. In the original, you can see that the formulas are visible and the workbook is functional. 
In the compiled application, you can see that the formulas are not visible because they are protected by compilation into binary format and that the workbook is still functional. Thank you for watching.